Hello shooters, this time I'm going to be talking to you about the Savage A110. It is a bolt action rifle. They specifically, my version is going to be the tactical configuration. Uh, this is the oldest, longest produced uh, rifle in the United States. This is, this is even older than the Winchester Model 70, which is a classic in the United States Armory. Uh, there are more than 26 variations of this model. And then the precision line, which is around, makes around 30, they all are going to be using the same 110 action, regardless of prices. The colors are, this one is going to be available. It's going to be the black, it's going to be the gray, that is the one I chose. Because I didn't have the olive green, which I prefer for all my firearms, just personal preference. They also have it in khaki color, or flat, dark earth. And I've seen a few variations where people have them in a camouflage, in a military camouflage, and uh, depending on the version that you're going to choose, uh, the mostly coke and uh, some other uh, camo for hunters. The calibers of this one is going to be available. I chose the 308, they also have it on 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, it is also in 300 Winchester Martin, a 6mm uh, ARC, 223, 270, 30 6, depending on the version. As I mentioned before, 26 variation plus the 4 of the precision line, which is all going to be using, so you got plenty of flavors to choose uh, from. There are two main versions, it's going to be the 20 inch barrel, which is going to be about this length, it's fairly unnoticeable. And they also have the 24 inch uh, barrel, I chose the 24 inch barrel because uh, it's going to build up more gas, it's going to reach farther when compared to the 20. It's going to help me save on a uh, powder when reloading my ammunition, but I do also enjoy uh, reloading. Please check my reloading session. And uh, the weight difference is not going to be that much. It's not going to be the end uh, of the world. The weight, depending on the caliber that you're going to be choosing, is going to be between 8 and 9 pounds for the 24-inch barrel one. This is the kind of rifle that I would highly recommend to people who are getting into the precision long range or they want to have the kind of rifle that they can use simultaneously for hunting and long range uh, practice at your range. The three elements that are going to make this rifle shoot better than uh, the others within the same price range is going to be the uh, AccuFit stock that is going to allow the user to replace the back of the stock, the elevation that comes with four different replacement uh, parts so you can align your height, the height in your eye with the height on your rings and that way you're going to have the proper alignment. You can also replace the backs when it comes with uh, five different replacement parts depending on the user so that the same rifle can be used by different uh, people depending on their, their size or you can even grow with the person if, if it was purchased when the person was a teenager and then it grows a lot, you choose all, all, you, have, all you have to do is just add a new part to the rear of your rifle or the elevation so it's going to be more customizable. Uh, the next element that is going to define the accuracy of the Savage uh, Model 110 is going to be the Accu Trigger. Savage is notorious for their Accu Triggers. I do love the Accu Trigger. The way it works is going to have a blade. In order to execute the shot, you're going to have to press the blade and then eventually it's going to take the shot. If you do not press the silver blade, it's just going to lock the system and it's not going to shoot, it's very safe. Savage has never been involved in any kind of a lawsuit for accidental firearm discharge and death of loved ones, so it's very, very, very safe. It works as a two-stage a trigger. Uh, it's been copied by a lot of companies internationally and even within the United States. Not copied, but some other uh, companies, producers of our firearms, they have, they have created something similar to this one in order to avoid uh, copyright, lawsuit, etc. And finally, the third factor that is going to define the accuracy of the Savage uh, Model 110, in this case, is going to be the uh, Accu stock, which internally is going to have a metal uh, pillars like a skeletonized frame that is going to allow the user to torque the base to the metal piece inside up to 65 inches per pound in order to avoid any kind of a, a movement on the uh, adjust where you adjust them 
it is nobody's secret that when you are shooting with the wood wooden stock, eventually every time you torque it, you torque it, you torque it, the wood is gonna yield, it's gonna crack, and when it's the abrupt changes in weather, temperature, or just with the years, the wood is gonna change the point of a, a fixation within the action. So with this one, you're gonna have a peace of mind that there is not going to move. There is no way you can move the metal on metal when it's torque to 65 inches per pound. From the back to the front, on the back right in, below the bolt action, you're gonna have the tank safety position. This is pretty much what a lot of European rifle has on them. All the way to the back, you won't be able to lift the, the bolt. In the middle, you will be able to lift the bolt, action the bolt when you are transporting your firearm in your truck, but you won't be able to take a shot. And then all the way to the front, you will be able to action the bolt and at the same time take your shot. This is very safe. I prefer the two stage, but it's just the way they are produced. Nothing wrong with it. It's just switch from all the way to the front and all the way to the back. Just for a fast transition. It's not the end of the world. You will survive. On the top, it's going to come mounted with the 20 millimeter, a 20 MOA, excuse me, a scope base that is going to allow you to take the longer shots in case uh, you also will have a, a scope that is going to have the same a it's going to need some extra elevation however this can this can be a little bit uh, problematic in case your scope is going to lack of enough uh, elevation adjustment in order to do a uh, long range engagement next to the bolt is going to have a level previously not the model 110 but other savage uh, bolt action rifles when people were hunting and they just pulled the ball, bolt all the way back and they kept walking and then they accidentally they pressed the trigger the bolt was able to come out and nowadays with this model if you in order to take out the bolt you're gonna need to press down this level and at the same time compress the trigger and pull on the bolt in order to be able to take it out so no way you're gonna lose it in the field good luck finding it so it's pretty safe on the bottom, it's going to have a three a fixed, a fixed a swivel stock I like in the front to fix my bipod, hairy bipod. And then on the lower ones on the back and over here on the beaver tail stock, I will be able to adjust and um, fix the sling so that way you don't have to be carrying these the five, six hours of your hunting system or your whatever you're doing, you just uh, put it on your sling and back to your shoulder so it doesn't take a toll on you. The barrel. It's been, uh, they remove a lot of metal in order to help with the weight. This is a heavy configuration ba a barrel. It's not the pencil hunting a six pound complete rifle package. And on the tip, on the muzzle, comes already thread from the factory. So you can install uh, your muzzle brake. I'm waiting on the uh, Silencer Co. ASR muzzle brake. That's the one I have on all my firearms in order to, so I can switch the same suppressor among all of them. Or you can uh, install your suppressor uh, directly. I believe the thread is the 5, 4 by 20 by 8. It's the one for 30 caliber. Do your own research. Internally, the bolt is going to be the floating, I forgot the whole thing, dual floating lock uh, bolt for more consistency and fitting. It is very similar to uh, European rifles. On the bottom, the feeding mechanism is going to be the same used by Accuracy International. From the factory, it's going to come with the, the, the Mac tool 10 rounds, which is illegal for hunting, but you can, you know, you can still use it at the range. Uh, you're going to have to insert it, make sure it's all the way in. In order to insert, insert the Accuracy International uh, magazine with uh, for dependability, you're going to have to pull the bolt. It's just make sure that it's going to be give it a hit a little bit. Uh, this wouldn't happen if you're using the Aculus International magazine, the original ones. You can insert the magazine, the Aculus International, without having to open the bolt regardless. And it sounds even better. So if your line depends or something you're planning to use, to use this one for any tactical purpose or you are hunting dangerous game, I would highly recommend you to get the original Aculus International. In order to remove the magazine, just press this little level over here forward and it's gonna come super easy. It's not 
that's not fatal with this system. This is battle proof, it's been used by many armies. Yes, it has a little bit of rattle, but it's supposed to work in mud condition, dirt, you name it. So it's supposed to be reliable, it's not the other one. The other one worked work, okay, way worse than this one. The things that I dislike about this rifle, first of all, I think about the bolt handle shouldn't be uh, this huge. Look at that, I believe it's going to be snagging if you take it on a hunting season or something. It's just, I think they used too much material for something that was not even uh, necessary. The second one that I think it should have been improved, if you're going to hold this rifle, the tactical configuration, I was expecting a more a pistol grip, more vertical grip over here instead of the traditional uh, hunting all the way back uh, grip. Another thing I was a little bit like, oh, okay, do they have more options? It was the, the color, as I mentioned before, I'm a hardcore olive drab green uh, color for all my rifles. I'll probably just paint it or upgrade to a chassis or stock. Uh, another thing that I was kind of uh, a little bit disappointed, this is my second Savage rifle. Previously, they came with the, this, this. This was used to be the original uh, Savage Arms logo, the Indian Chief, which I consider is really elegant and outstanding. And if you study a little bit of the Native American Indians, not many of them got to wear the whole, uh, the whole head cover with, with uh, all the feathers. That was something that only a few were able to do. Uh, my final advice, these are mass produced a uh, rifle. Once you get them from the store, I would highly recommend you to completely disassemble them and then clean them thoroughly because uh, I called the factory, factory uh, Savage Arm, and I told them my serial number and it was made two years ago. Then they are tested, I believe it's like 10 rounds for functionality, accuracy, fitting. And then after that, they are put into a warehouse. They are not cleaned. So for those two years, they were not taken care of. Uh, another thing that I heard a lot of complaint about, the base, uh, once you get it, uh, you're gonna have to take the screws that are fixating the base to the action. And then it comes with a lot of oil or grease and because of that, regardless that you're gonna to torque it to specification, if you do not remove the grease, it's gonna be completely moving the point of impact. So remove the grease. Some people even apply Loctite, the red or the blue, I don't know which one, I haven't done it to my, just completely remove the grease. Uh, another thing, if you're planning on using the 155 grains or lighter bullets, it's not gonna work on this rifle because uh, the fast uh, twist rate it's gonna be only for 168 up to 180 grains, the bullets. That will be the recommendable one. And finally, the trigger is adjustable from 1.5. That's what I measure with my trigger pull weight scale up to five uh, pounds before you can get it to shot. Uh, it comes with this funny piece. I almost forgot it. From the factory that you just insert it in a hole that has right behind the trigger. If you rotate it clockwise, you're gonna make it tighter. If you uh, rotate it counterclockwise, it's gonna be uh, loosening it. Uh, the way I have mine is only on two pounds, just all my rifles are two pounds, just a matter of safety. I would highly recommend this one if you're planning on a, on a hunting season. And I would also highly recommend if you're gonna be using it for a competition or just for target practice in your range. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I would highly recommend it. If you have one, please uh, mention it before. What version of the Model 110 do you have? What caliber you have? Where are you located at? If there was something that I did not explain clearly, because I'm not the guy who knows everything, please uh, ask below in the comments. I will be more than glad to help you. Uh, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel, for following. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm on your friends. It's going to help my channel grow. Thank you so much for, my, for your time.